In today's lesson, we're going to look at some advanced grammar with comparatives and superlatives. How do you feel about comparative and superlative adjectives? Let's do a quick check. I'm going to show you a chart. You can see I have a list of rules. Adjectives here, comparatives here, and superlatives here. Pause the video if you need to take some time to look at everything. If you thought everything looks clear, you can continue with this lesson. If you are not so sure about this information, I suggest you watch my first video on this topic. This video covers the basics of adjectives, comparatives, and superlatives, which I'm not going to go over in this lesson. At the end of this lesson, I have a test for you with 10 questions. Please let me know your score in the comments below. Did you get 10 correct out of 10? Maybe six correct out of 10. Let me know. My name's Arnell. Let's start. I have two pools. Pool B is smaller than pool A. I have my comparative and than because I'm comparing two things. This is correct but it's very general. How can I be more specific? I think we need a chart. Maybe you haven't noticed, but I love charts. Small differences, big differences. Informal means we normally use these modifiers in spoken English. And it's important to remember informal English does not mean low level English. Informal English is very natural. Then neutral and formal. Formal meaning you'll normally see it in written English. And this chart is just a guideline. These aren't strict rules. Pool B is smaller than pool A. Let's be more specific. Pool B is a bit smaller than pool A. Small difference. Jeff can run a mile a tad faster than Charlie. My skin is always a little drier in the winter than in the summer. My new car is slightly more fuel efficient than my last car. Fuel efficient means it doesn't use a lot of fuel. It doesn't use a lot of gas. Small cars are normally more fuel efficient. Despite tripling their advertising budget, the company's profits were only marginally better than last quarter. And you don't need to include than plus the object if it's already clear what you're talking about. That's optional. We've looked at small differences. Let's do some big differences. My mom is far more supportive of me than my dad. This is just an example. In my life, my parents are equally supportive. You got 100% on your physics exam? Wow, you are a lot smarter than me. You are way smarter than me. Smarter than me or smarter than I? Okay, we need to get into the nitty gritty of the grammar. You are smarter than me. Jesse is younger than him. You are smarter than I. Jesse is younger than he. Which side is correct? They are both correct. If you consider than a preposition, we use an object pronoun. Me, you, him, her, it, us, them. If you consider than a conjunction, we need a subject pronoun. Ah, you, he, she, it, we, they. The verb that follows the subject is often given. You are smarter than I am. Jesse's younger than he is. So in these sentences here, it doesn't matter if you use an object pronoun or a subject pronoun. Your sentences mean the same thing. But using an object pronoun is more common and less formal. Using a subject pronoun is less common and more formal. 
To be honest, in my day-to-day -day life, I hardly ever hear anyone using a subject pronoun. So is there no difference between the preposition and the conjunction? Well, let me show an example sentence where using than as a conjunction is better. You like video games more than me. This is correct, but it could mean two different things. One, you like playing video games more than I like playing video games. Or, you like playing video games more than you like me as a person. So sometimes to not cause any confusion, it's better to use than as a conjunction and follow it with a subject and a verb. You like video games more than I do. But normally there isn't any confusion. The context will tell you to keep things simple. Than me, than I are both correct. It's about formality and personal preference. After the renovation, our kitchen is much more spacious. Much more? I know that looks a bit strange, but we can use much to show a big difference, and we can use a comparative. This is really common. Much more spacious. Much more expensive. Much more... Much more interesting. Updates to the hotel's website made it significantly more user-friendly. I used to drink four cups of coffee a day, but after deciding to only drink two cups of coffee in the morning, I became considerably more energetic. We've looked at modifying comparatives, but what about superlatives? Well, because superlatives are already the most extreme form, is it possible to show a difference? In some ways, here are the statistics of a toy company. They sell little fruit toys. Strawberry Susan is by far, by far, the most popular toy in 2024. There's a big difference there. Gary Grape is easily the cutest toy here. Perry Pineapple is almost the creepiest toy I've seen in my life. Let's keep going. Whether we're speaking about small differences or big differences, we're still making the adjectives more intense when we form comparative and superlatives. Argumentative. Oh, that's a long adjective. Argumentative. Five syllables. And when someone's argumentative, they like to argue. This is arguing. When you fight with your words. When you say someone is argumentative, that's not a positive description. Argumentative, more argumentative, the most argumentative. But what happens if I want to make the adjectives weaker? Argumentative, less argumentative, the least argumentative. Sandy, Paul, and Ryan, they're all argumentative people. But I chose Paul to be my study partner because he is the least argumentative. Expensive. More, the most, less, the least. My new car insurance plan is less expensive than my old one. In fact, I try to get the least expensive plan I could find. Normally we use less and least with long adjectives, but it's possible with short adjectives. Let me choose hot. Friday will be the least hot day of the week. Whew. And don't try to form a double comparative or superlative. Hot, hotter, the hottest, but we wouldn't say hot, less hotter, the least hottest. Here, I have a bar chart of popular pets in the USA. Dogs are the most popular pet. Dogs are more popular than cats. But let's make this more interesting. It's a small difference. 
I could say dogs are slightly more popular than cats. Dogs are way more popular than rodents. Rodents are animals like this. Um, hamsters, guinea pigs, rats, mice, those are rodents. Rodents are the least popular pet on this chart. But fish and birds are the same. What can we say? Fish are as popular as birds as adjective as the same. I want you to remember my AAA rule. AAA, three letters the same. As adjective as, that grammar gives you the same. Okay, another chart, same, different. Today is as cold as yesterday, as adjective as the same. Well, I can make this negative. Today is not as cold as yesterday. I can say yesterday was colder than today. There are a lot of options. It's all about variety. Buses in my town are as frequent as the trams. The same. Buses in my town are not as frequent as the trams. Buses are less frequent, trams are more frequent. For me, dancing is as relaxing as reading. For me, dancing is not as relaxing as reading. Reading is more relaxing. Dancing is less relaxing. Common mistake. You are as taller than me. Mm, we see a little combination here. You don't want to combine the grammar. We can say, you are taller than me, or you are as tall as me. If you remember the AAA rule, you'll never confuse comparing and similarities. I know there's been a lot of information in today's lesson, but let's look at two more things before the test. You know this, big, bigger, the biggest. This is what you see on all charts everywhere. But I want to tell you about using the with a comparative and not using the with a superlative. Which slice of cake would you like? I want the bigger slice. That's not so polite. Could I have the bigger slice, please? We can use the structure the comparative noun when we're comparing two things. That's also possible. Olive and Melissa are sisters. They're both on the swim team. Olive is the faster swimmer, but Melissa is the better student. I got two job offers. I chose the more challenging one. We've looked at the with a comparative. Now let's look at replacing the with a superlative. We often use a possessive form before a superlative. What do I mean by that? Well, let me give you a few examples. I think Angels and Demons is Dan Brown's best book. Dan Brown's possessive, his best book. Correct. A diamond ring my grandma gave me is my, my most precious possession. My, that's a possessive adjective. What are some other possessive adjectives? Your, his, her, its, our, their. Espresso box is my town's my town's smallest cafe. So, are you ready for a test? Here's my test for you. 10 questions. Please choose the correct option for each question. Pause the video to do this. Here are the answers. How did you do? 
let me know your score in the comments below. And if you want to go back to basics, don't forget about my first video on this topic. I'll link this video down below for you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!